Hi, I'm Chef Rafael, and welcome to another episode of Baking with Chef Rafael. Today's episode is special. I'm going to show you how to make a moist chocolate cake made with a brand new peanut butter from Blue Band that is smooth and creamy. I'm sure you like it. Let's get started. So for the ingredients for this very delicious cake, um, I'll, I have two aspects of, the, of this cake. There's the icing part and the cake part. We'll start with the cake. Now I have 245 grams of flour, 400 grams of sugar, 70 grams of cocoa powder, uh, one and a half teaspoon of baking soda, and one and a half teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda. That's the raising agent and that's the dry ingredients for the wet ingredients we have uh, one cup of water that's 250 ml of water um, a half a cup of oil that's uh, 125 ml of that and then two eggs now for the icing and that's where now the specialness of this cake comes in we are using the peanut butter now we are using the blue band peanut butter and it's nice and smooth and has a nice um, nutty taste so um, there's peanut butter, there's margarine, and then we have icing sugar. So we'll start by mixing the dry ingredients. So I'll add the sugar to the flour, the bicarbonate, and the baking powder. Now, uh, the other thing we're adding is the cocoa powder. Now, the cocoa powder tends to have a lot of uh, lumps. So, uh, I've already sifted the flour, but it's also another tip when it comes to baking. Um, sift the ingredients to avoid the lumps. So, that's the dry ingredients. Now, we, we come to the wet ingredients. We have the two eggs, half a cup of oil and warm water so mix the wet ingredients and then i'll introduce the dry ingredients to this bowl so the idea is to gently mix remember this cake is super moist and it will go perfectly well with the peanut butter icing and as you can see the mixture is light that's the way it's supposed to be now for the baking tins i've lined them with uh, grease proof paper of parchment paper and then I'm, I'm having two of them um, so the idea with this cake is that i want to have two layers so that's why i'm dividing into two so if you have this is a, a 10 inch uh, baking tin uh, in diameter so um, you can use this or you can also use one and just have one large cake. It's very important to preheat your oven before you place in the cake. The oven is set at 180 degrees and for this size of cake, because now it's not too thick, it will take about 20-25 um, minutes. But how you know it's cooked is when you smell you know, the aroma of cake in the kitchen and when you insert a toothpick inside, it comes out clean. So let's now make the peanut butter frosting or icing. So we need 225 grams of uh, margarine. So you can't go wrong when you're using a weighing scale. It would be a little bit hard to get it right if you're using a cup, cup measurement. The other ingredient is the peanut butter. I'm using the smooth and creamy peanut butter right now from uh, Blue Band. You can also use the nutty one. You can use the one with the chunks, but it's just that the smooth one, especially when you're doing a frosting, you need something smooth. So this will be 180 grams. So basically equal amounts of uh, the margarine and the peanut butter, 180 grams each. And then now to this, I will add 
um, icing sugar. This is 100 grams. Now the amount of sugar is, to be honest, it's optional in terms of how much. If you feel like it's too sweet, you can always reduce it. It's a nice consistency. It's not too light, it's not too dense. One thing I've noticed about this peanut butter is that it has a sweetness to it, even by itself. It has a slight sweetness. Usually peanut butter is usually a little bit on the salty side, but this has a slight sweetness and it's going perfectly well when um, uh, together the icing sugar and the margarine to come up with this delicious mixture. I can't wait to finish it, it on the cake. So now the cake is ready. Um, my two pieces, equal sized, um, they have already cooled. It's good to put it on a wire rack because when you put it on a wire rack, it has um, the air circulation is there and then it cools on both sides. And then I'll use a piping bag. So there's two ways you can do this. You can either apply and then uh, put a, a, a large amount here and then spread it. Or I'll show you another way of doing this. Let me use the flat side like that. And then I'm going to pipe all around the cake. Depending on how much you want of the, uh, of the icing, you can leave it as it is. You can put more or less, depending on your preference. Personally, I don't like applying too much. But that should be enough because I'm not gonna put it on the side. So you can leave it as it is. And then flat side, the one that was on the base of the pan of the baking tin uh, will be on top, which is the flat side. Then give it a little press. That should be good. And then I'll apply another coat on top. So that's the kind of look I want. So I want it to have a rustic finish. And then maybe a few pots like that now that's one way of finishing it because like i said i just want it to have to be naked on the sides um, and then if you have sprinkles like i do just sprinkle them on top so this cake is perfect as a um, cake for a special occasion the layer on the center is the peanut and then the chocolate it's very it actually looks really delicious it's soft and moist can be a very good dessert cake um, but even with a hot beverage, when it's at room temperature, it's still perfect. And I'm sure when you try yours, you're going to like it. So make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you're notified whenever I have a new recipe out and to watch many other videos that I have created in the past. And until next time, I'm Chef Rafael signing out.